Maya. Mm-hmm. Where's her daddy? He's not clapping. Yeah. I knew that. Don't focus on your dad. Don't look at him. <laughs> look at his face. Save us. Save us. The family, our legacy, and reputation. You know what to do. So do it. Put an end to it. One step for all. Allie, please don't. Just breathe in, breathe out. Okay, but next person? Why is it just Maya? Like, this is a runway show. Like, it can't just be all about you. Okay. So that was The Bold and the Beautiful, guys. Okay. Um, review time. Okay, so I'm going to start with the beginning. So what did we have? We had um, Steffi and Liam. Mm -hmm. Liam is just like stressed out because this is his first time, you know? <laughs> so he's talking to a journalist, I guess. And he's like, ah, hey, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> so Steffi comes in and she's like, hi, what's up? You, you're good, right? Uh-huh. Uh, here's your seat over there. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Bye, girl. And Liam is just like, wow, Steffi, you're a natural. And I'm just like, she did not do anything special. An intern could have done it. Okay. Liam, come on. Come on. Uh, so then uh, we have the makeup room. Rick and Maya. Maya is so happy. My parents are coming. They're going to see me. <laughs> and I'm just like, Maya, Maya, Maya. Okay? Like, don't trust your daddy. Don't, like, just don't think about your parents because mm, your daddy's a gold digger. Okay? So... He's thinking about the money. Okay, that's why he's talking to Rick. He's not worried about your well-being. He's worried about your money. Okay, he's worried about your bank account. Okay, and soon, soon he will need a paycheck from you. Okay, and you might want to, he might not want to ask. Maybe Vivian is going to ask, okay? Anyways, I'm pretty sure he would be like, he, your daddy is going to be like, you owe me anyway, so pay me. So, I, I I don't know. I don't know about them, but Maya, just calm down. Okay, don't think about your parents. Then we have a scene with Maya and Nick. They're still in the makeup room, the dress-up room, whatever. And um, once again, she's saying, you know, I'm so happy that my parents are here. And I hope I'm going to help someone today. I'm going to be talking to journalists and explain to them how we feel as transgenders, how life is hard for us, and Nick is just there supporting her. Great! Then we're at the showroom, okay, um, with um, <laughs> um, Julius Avant and Vivian. So Nicole introduced Zenday and those other interns, but we don't care about those interns, right? Okay, so... She introduced Zanday to her parents. And <laughs> Julian's reaction was like, wait, what? You are Forrester too? But you're black. How? That's what he wanted to say. That's what he wanted to say, you know? But he was just like, okay, I'm just in public. I'm going to try to act right. I'm in public. Um, I don't know how the, the conversation ended because they never showed it. So... I wanted to know Zenda's response to that, but we're not going to see it, so <laughs> that's like. And then um, Brooke met um, the Avon parents, okay, so the Avon family, matriarch and patriarch, I mean, like with the, uh, I guess patriarch because 
Julius is king, obviously. So, um, Brooke is just like, hi, I'm so happy that you're here. Like, he, he. <laughs> and, um, Julius' speech was, um, I'm really happy to see you, I guess. Um, I met your son and I really appreciate what he has done for Maya's life. Not for Maya, for Maya's life. Which means, thank you for the bank account, okay? Ching, ching. Thank you for that. Because now I have the opportunity to get some money too. Thank you, Brooke. So nice of you. So nice of your son. And um, after that, Julius and Vivian stay alone. And Vivian is kind of feeling self-conscious. Just, just like, you know, I'm not dressed properly. I wish I had something nice on. And Julius was like, what do you mean? Like, you're good. Like, you're fine. Don't worry about it. And I'm just like, no. It's like going to a wedding and wearing, acting, wearing something like, a bikini okay like no you have to look nice you want to look nice okay you, you see some some people with dresses and jewelries and they're looking good and makeup done hair done everything did okay that's the song okay now son uh-huh everything did um you, you want to look your best too, okay? Like, you don't want to look like a regular person or a broke person. You, you, you want to fit in. You want to look nice, okay? And we're girls, okay? We want to look good. Uh-huh. Hello? So then we get um, Rick talking to Arthello, and I'm just like, okay, hello, friend. I needed you to be there a while ago because I needed your opinion. I needed you to be talking to Maya. I needed you to be her friend. Um, I needed your reaction. I mean, okay. Good. Bye. And then we have... Steffi and Liam once again, and Liam is just like, we gotta go, okay? Come here, Steffi, come here. And like, Steffi's just like, well, why? Well, where do you want to go? Like, let's go to our future, okay? So they at um, Forest or Creations Chill Place. That's how I call it, okay? Everybody's there drinking and talking, you know, with their coworkers. I don't know. So um, they're up there, and. Liam is just like, Steffi, you're amazing, you're a force, you are something like I cannot describe, and thank you for helping me see the obvious, okay, I need to be with you, you're the woman for me, so I'm, I was just like, that's great, Liam, but you needed to, to talk to Ivy first, and tell her, babe, uh, well, not, that's wrong, <laughs> Ivy, sorry, Ivy, um, no, we can't be together, I, I made my choice, okay, like, there's a reason why in competition, you have, the gold is always last, okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, because, Third place needs to have, needs to know that they're third, and after that, second, and then the first will be like, yay, yeah, joy. You get, you get what I mean? The loser first. The loser has to know that, you know, it ain't happening for me, okay? I hate to call Ivy a loser. She, she ain't losing nothing. Actually, she's gaining, okay? Whoever doesn't end up with Liam is actually winning. I mean, obviously. So, um... He needed to have that conversation with Ivy and then tell Steffi, you know what, I chose, I choose you, I want to be with you, etc, etc, okay? But he did not do that. He kissed Steffi, they had that mm, I love you moment, and then he sees Ivy and he's like, hey, uh, we need to talk after the show. And why did you have to make your choice at that moment? That was the wrong time. Wrong time. You're supposed to think about other people, okay? Not just yourself. 
Steffi is feeling secure and comfortable with you. She's thinking she's winning anyways. She got, she has you, okay? She's not worried like that. Ivy is the one who's stressing out and you're not even thinking about her. How disrespectful. You needed to wait. I'm sorry, wait. After the show, you can tell Ivy, hey, I don't, I mean, it's not going to work out for us. Okay, sorry, bye. And then you can go to Steffi and be like, hey, Steffi, hoo hoo, let's kiss and, you know, cha 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 again. What? The fashion show was the right time for you? You're an ass. Uh, you're an ass. I can't. I just can't. Then we have um, Ridge who made a speech in the dress up room. Okay, so that means just employees. And he was telling them that, you know what? California freedom is all about being free and um, being free to be who you are and we're gonna rock it and he also said something about Caroline Caroline is amazing and she's a, a good designer better than me and I was just like I want to know something Rick and Caroline are they divorced are they like legally divorced because Usually, you try to keep it, you know, like you don't tell people like, hey, by the way, I have a boyfriend, but I'm still married. You don't try to do that in public. And they've been doing that in public. Like, oh, I'm with Ridge, but are you still married? Like, that that doesn't look good. And you're doing that with interns there. And what if they decide to talk to a journalist and tell them, you know what? Ridge and Caroline are together, okay? And Rick and uh, Meyer together. And guess what? Caroline and Rick are still married. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's like, what the hell is this? I, I, I just didn't get it. And plus, let me tell you, ooh, Ridge uh, was talking to an intern, a woman, a female. And he was like, uh, hey, girl. I need you to tell so and so. I don't remember the name. Tell him that I need him, okay? But she, she was grabbed by Ridge, okay? Ridge, Ridge grabbed her, okay? Like, hey, hey, as if they're friends, as if they know each other, as if she's been working here for a long time. And I'm just like, she's just, she's an intern. You hired her like two weeks ago, maybe? Like, like no, you can't be touching people like that work environment I mean we're not that no I, I don't know maybe the, it's me I just felt it was weird I was just like didn't understand that part I just you don't touch people like that you're not close and you're my boss like no uh -uh. and then you had uh, Steffi and Maya's speech um, about the line and um, they were sharing one mic and I was just like why one mic <laughs> I don't know like that was weird to me and before well, that means that's showtime basically but before the showtime I want to talk about Ali a little bit Ali is obsessed Ali is going cuckoo again and she's just obsessed with Steffi not Maya which is weird to me because Steffi has not done anything to you yeah she might be taking your cousin's man okay like okay be upset are you really upset about that that's not even about you that's not your life okay whatever but you're not upset with Maya more Maya is the one who insulted you you know hurt your feelings okay you were rubbing her feet so no no you you it's all about Steffi right like I, I, I don't understand she might just ruin the fashion show okay because Allie is just looking observing and she's walking around with that those eyes like I'm about to get you okay so scary now, um, that was my review, okay? That was the show, the episode today. Now, what I want to say is, I don't understand, okay? California freedom, I don't understand. And uh, let me tell you why. Rich 
spent months and months, Caroline too, they spent months and months designing for a line. And they did not know the name of the line. Seriously? I mean, I don't know anything about business like that, but I'm just saying, how do you design for a line and you don't know the concept? You don't know the name of the line. You don't know what the line stands for. So, that's weird. Okay, last week, they decided, okay, we're going to name it California Freedom. They have the logo. Okay, that's great. And they were not really sure about the message. And they, I guess they started talking to Eric maybe a week prior to the meeting about the name of the line. So you did not know anything about this line, but you had a fashion show planned. Really? I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I, I, I really don't get it. You know, like, it's like you have we have to think about this okay when you have a line okay like let's let's talk about hope for the future hope for the future it was like it's conservative traditional so that means if i was designing in advance not knowing the name of the the line and not knowing what it standed for it was standing for um i might have been designing you know boobs out kind of dresses okay but <laughs> with hope for the future it doesn't go together because she's traditional she's about abstinence and you know like values values so um no you gotta know the name of your line and your message how did you prepare for that fashion show how? I it, it doesn't make sense to me, but okay. So um, that was my review, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to share the video, please. Um, also, I want to say that I have a video coming up. I think I will upload it um, Saturday or maybe Sunday. I think Saturday though, but watch okay well watch out okay a video is coming up okay I think I talked to you guys about it but I'm just making you remember I'll be back soon. <laughs> okay so um bye guys okay bye bye